Hi boys and girls, how have you been doing? Mr. Donnie here, and I've got some more questions about the Bible. Have you been reading your Bible? Have you been reading it every day? And have you been praying every day? That's important things to do because when we pray and we read God's word, then we're gonna know the right way to live. When we read God's word, God has things to tell us. We need to obey those things. I'm gonna tell you a story today about somebody that we've heard about over the last few Mr. Donnie episodes. That guy's name is Moses. Remember Moses? He led the children of Israel out of captivity. He led them out into the wilderness where he got the Ten Commandments from the mountain of God. And he gave it to the, ten, to, to the children of Israel they were down there worshiping that God, that golden calf. Moses melted the, bold, the golden calf. And you know, they, they, they learned about some things while they were in the wilderness after the, the time they spent there at the mountain. God told them how to sacrifice and different things that they should do when it came to their worship and their, the temple. Uh, that they had there in the wilderness. But you know, the children of Israel, they finally made it over to the promised land. And God said, I want you to go in there. I want you to take the land. And so Moses sent some spies into the land and they came back and said, we can't do it, Moses, we can't do it. Only a couple of guys said they could. That was Joshua and Caleb, they come back and said, we can take these people, God's on our side. But Moses listened to the other people. And because of that, they had to go back into the wilderness and they were there for a long time. And the Bible tells us that when they got into the wilderness the second time, that they were thirsty. And once again, they were complaining to Moses and they said, Moses, we don't have any water. Why did we leave Egypt? Why did we come out of the land over there where we had everything we needed and you brought us out here into the wilderness and we're going to die of thirst? I guess they forgot that before God had them some water that he told Moses, he said, hit that rock and water's going to come out. And they had all the water they needed. They had food. To all the food they needed, but you know what happened? This time they went into the wilderness, they forgot. <laughs> Sometimes we forget what God does for us. And so God told Moses, he said, I want you to go over to that rock. Maybe kind of like this rock here. Maybe, I, I'm not for sure, but you can see these rocks. And God said, I want you to speak to the rock and I'm going to give them some water. And so Moses, he went over to the rock, and you know what he did? He had a staff like mine. His staff probably didn't have a rubber tip on it, but he took his staff, and he went over, and he didn't speak to it. He, he struck that rock. Moses struck that rock. He disobeyed God. Because of his disobedience, God said, Moses, you're not going to go into the promised land. Oh, man. Can you imagine after all the time that he leads the children of Israel, he brought them out of the captivity, led them through the wilderness, led them to the promised land, came back out, back to the wilderness. And then he was in the wilderness with them for 40 years. And you know what happened? He wasn't able to go back into the, will, to the promised land with the children of Israel because God said, speak to the rock. And Moses struck the rock. Did he do it in anger because of the children of Israel? I don't know. But he struck the rock. He didn't speak to it the way God said. And so he disobeyed God. 
That's what sin causes. When we have sin in our life, we may disobey God. And that disobeying is sin. Moses sinned when he disobeyed God. Hey, I want to share something a little bit more about this water thing. Moses, he was there in the wilderness. He took that stick and he swatted that rock. The water came out of it. Remember, God said, speak to the rock. Moses disobeyed. That's what sin is, disobeying God. Moses sinned. It caused him to not be able to go into the promised land. God said, you're not going in there because you didn't do it the way I said. You know, one of these days, we're going to get a chance to go see God in heaven. But we got to do it the way God says. We've got a drink of the living water. I want to share from my Bible a little bit for our... This is important stuff. When Jesus was at the well talking to the woman, he said, everyone that drinks of this water will thirst again. He was talking about water out of a well. But then he changed it a little bit and said, the water that I give, they'll never be thirsty again. It's like everlasting water. It's kind of like this, this little fountain that flows and flows. This fountain is like the living water that Jesus has. That woman said, give me that water. That's the water I want so that I will never thirst again. Boys and girls, you can have that water too. If you don't know who Jesus is, if you accept Jesus and the living water that he'll provide, then one day, whenever it's time to go to heaven, we'll be able to go into heaven and there'll be no questions asked. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson about the water and I'll see you next time. Bye.